Hi everyone, Northwood has just publicly released a Patreon post going over their upcoming experimental weapons rework. This post includes changes to the Micro HID, 3x Particle Disruptor, and even the Jailbird. It should be noted that any stats talked about in this video could be changed by the full release. With no further delay, let's see what these changes have to offer us. To start off, we have the BFG itself, the Micro HID. With the Micro's overhaul, it'll be getting many changes to its mechanics, ease of use, and of course, its model. The Micro has also gotten some miscellaneous changes, such as being on a hotkey by default, being able to be inspected, being categorized as a special weapon, which we'll get into a bit later. It'll now show additional information in the inventory, like its charge and damage per second, and it's gotten a new description that says, Heavy Electrical Weapon Designed for the Termination of Anomalies. Now that we've got the small stuff out of the way, let's get into the real changes. The first form of attack this new micro has is the primary fire. This mode is activated by holding left click for 3 seconds and will release a concentrated beam of pure electricity reaching 10 meters, which is about 2 thirds of a hallway, aka the current micro's range. The micro's charge does not drain while winding up, but the charge can't be held, requiring you to fire once the wind up ends. Once fired, the charge will drain at 5% a second and deal 500 damage a second. The wind down is very short, with it just being 1 second however. Secondly, there's the charge fire. Activated by holding right click, the wind up will take around 7 seconds, with no charge being drained during the process. Once the micro is wound up and the charge is released by holding left click, then the real fun begins. The range of the beam gets increased to 15 meters, which is the length of a full hallway. On top of that, it does a whopping 1500 damage a second. And finally, for the charge fire's abilities, any door that is hit by the beam will be forced open no matter its current state. The only exception to this is if it's a gate or a restricted door, which means a door controlled by a map event like 079's gates and the checkpoint doors. There is a few drawbacks to this mode though, like its wind down period of 5 seconds, 10% of the charge being used for even just starting to fire, and then for every second of firing, and the chance for it to overcharge. Speaking of which, let's get into overcharge. Overcharge occurs when the micro's charge is held down without firing for around 15 seconds. When the overcharge reaches its critical point, it'll dissipate the energy by... violently exploding. Dealing 100 damage to the user of it. After this explosion, the micro loses 25% charge, goes into a broken state, and can't be recharged. This explosion also has some funny side effects such as breaking doors, causing nearby lights to flicker, changing the micro's model, the firing method being changed, and my personal favorite, and I quote, if the user takes fatal damage to the explosion, they will disintegrate and leave only their shoes behind. Speaking of this alternate firing method, let's get into the alt fire of the micro. The micro's alt fire can only be activated by holding left click when the micro is in the broken state. The wind up, wind down, and charge depletion time is the same as the primary fire, but only dealing 400 damage versus 500. This mode is also unique in that instead of the electricity being a straight beam, it'll come out as a cone, doing AoE damage. The effect of this being similar to the classic micro, with a shower of sparks appearing in front of the user. That's all the new Micro HID will have for us, but what about the Particle Disruptor? The 3x Particle Disruptor was originally introduced during the Christmas 2021 update, and after people enjoyed the weapon's uniqueness, it was later added to the SCP-914 recipe list to be used all year round. However, Northwood believes that the weapon is a bit underwhelming, citing low fire rate, low damage to SCPs, and even just the model itself. This lined itself up perfectly for a rework, changing many mechanics to make it useful against all types of enemies, looking badass while doing it. Part of these changes is that HP will no longer be ignored from a hit, and also, the Disruptor will have the designation of Special Weapon, like the Micro. What that means exactly will be explained shortly, but first let's get into the new firing methods the Particle Disruptor will have. The first mode of fire is the Hip Fire, used by, you guessed it, Hip Firing with Left Click. After a short wind-up, similar to the current disruptors, it will fire three shots over the course of a second, only consuming one ammo. This first shot will have perfect accuracy, but the two other shots will have some minor spread. These shots will have no penetration, meaning it will not go through enemies or doors. Each shot deals 200 damage bypassing armor, but not Hume Shield, and there's also no splash damage to these shots. The secondary fire is Marksman Fire, which is activated by aiming down sights with right click and firing as normal. The Marksman Fire will require a longer wind-up to shoot, about three times longer than that of the hip fire shot. To make up for this, the singular shot will be much more powerful. This shot will produce a thick laser that can travel through enemies and doors alike until it hits any wall. A direct hit from this beam will deal 500 damage, bypassing Hume Shield and armor. 
On top of that, there's a splash damage from the shot that can deal an additional 100 damage, albeit taking armor into account. The laser does have falloff damage, however, with every 50 meters lowering the damage by 250. The damage will also be divided by 1.45 per enemy or door hit. Oddly specific, but alright. Doors will also still break upon impact like usual. The new Particle Disruptor's description reads as follows. A strange gun that fires powerful, disintegrating energy beams. That's all for the new 3x Particle Disruptor, but surely with this big rework for the weapon, they wouldn't just keep this 914 exclusive, right? Correct! Introducing... Special Weapon Pedestals Placed in the same spots as SCP Item Pedestals, these new upright lockers will be what holds the Disruptor, the Jailbird, and any other future special weapons added to the game. A maximum of three of these will be able to spawn when there's a third special weapon added to the game, but on release of this edition, there will only be two lockers. The chances of these lockers spawning are as follows. One locker is 100% the spawn, two is a 50-50 chance, and the third has a 25% chance to spawn only if the second pedestal spawned as well. Finally, we get to the miscellaneous changes that actually have some interesting additions to themselves. First of all, I finally get to explain what the special weapon designation means exactly. So, basically, the Micro HID, the 3X Particle Disruptor, and the Jailbird now share a category in the inventory called Special Weapon. You can only carry one item in this category at a time, regardless of armor, meaning that you can't be a powerhouse of ultimate destruction anymore. This does make me sad. Something that makes me slightly less sad is the next change. If SCP-2176, aka the Ghost Light, is thrown into the radius of a micro, either being held or sitting on the ground, the charge of the micro will get completely randomized, essentially giving you a potential recharge if you're empty, or a complete draining if it's full. The Ghost Light will also have an effect on the Disruptor, making it malfunction and shoot by itself. There's also been some small changes to the Jailbird, giving you more info like its different damage capabilities, as well as its effects on your movement speed and stamina. And to finally wrap it up, the Jailbird has gotten a new description stating, It's a... STUN BATON? Every day we get closer to Half-Life and SCP, everyone. That does it for the change log. Credit goes to Moranitol for their work on the micro itself, Weird for the visual effects for it, and Purple Goop for the concept art of the micro, as well as the renders of the 3X Particle Disruptor. So what did you all think of the changes? Did you like the new designs? Did you like the new mechanics? Personally, I absolutely love the look of the new Particle Disruptor, and I do like the new Micro's design, but I feel like the old model has a sort of iconic status to it, if that makes sense. So I think it'll take some time to get used to it, but I can't deny its definite upgrade in its quality. I mean, the model itself has basically stayed the same since Mega Patch 2, so I think it deserves some kind of touch-up at least. I also think all the new mechanics associated with this rework will be cool and refreshing, but time will tell to see if some of these changes turn out to be too OP against the SCPs. And there you have it, an extensive look at the upcoming Experimental Weapons rework. Sadly, we don't know when this rework will be coming out or if anything else will be in the update alongside it, so we'll just have to sit and wait. Well, in the meantime, you should subscribe.